Uh, okay, here's just a quick take on maybe how I would do some of these questions. Uh, the question actually asks, let me see where, uh, where it says here. Oh no, I'm on the wrong page. Ah, uh, I think it asks for the exact point on the unit circle. Uh, let me just check. Chapter 6.5. Right here, uh, down a bit. Find the function value using coordinates of points on the unit circle. So function value. Okay, so I need to find the function value of that. So, um, first off, if you can think in radians, that's good. Uh, sometimes people have to uh, convert to degrees. I like converting to degrees. So uh, this is sort of how I would do this. So the cos of pi over six radians is the same thing as the cos of 30 degrees. So 30 degrees is right about there. And so they want to know the function value of that. So the cosine of 30 degrees off that uh, chart that they have in the textbook and that I'd like you to memorize, the cos of 30 is root 3 over 2. Also, because it's in this quadrant here, it's positive. Uh, therefore, um, or cosine is positive there. Actually, all of them are positive there. So it's a positive root 3 over 2. Now, if they talk about reflecting, uh, you'd want to get one that is exactly the same as that. Turns out that every um, reference angle that's 30 degrees, so this one here. Oh, that's red. I should have used a different color. Well, that's still red. <laughs> How about there, green, that one there, so that angle there, and this angle there, and this angle here, all of them uh, have a reference angle of 30 degrees, and all of them are going to have that same function value. They'll all be root 3 over 2. But cosine is positive in this quadrant, because x is positive here. So cosine is positive here and here, and it's negative over here and here. So in terms of reflecting, probably this one would reflect on the x-axis because the exact same function value here is what you have right down there. It sort of reflects on the y-axis too, but the sign is opposite. Let's look at this one here, the cotan of 7 pi over 6. Got to find out where that is. 7 pi over 6, if you convert that to um, degrees, is 210 degrees. So the cotan of 7 pi over 6 is the same thing as the cotan of 210. Let's find 210 right there. So that's 210 degrees. The reference angle is what I'm going for. So the cotan of 210 is the same as the cotan of 30 degrees with an accompanying sign change if I need it. Um, now cotan of 30 I can't do. Uh, I, don't have, I don't have that memorized. But if I flip that over... Uh, I do know what the tan of 30 is. So I know that the tan of 30 is root 3 over 3. So over here, the cotan of 30 has got to be the flip of that. So instead of root 3 over 3, the cotan of 30 is the reciprocal of that, or 3 over root 3. Um, now let's deal with the sine. Let's see what the sine of tangent is here. Here, cosine and sine are both negative. That makes tan and cotan both positive. If you've memorized that cast rule, down here tangent's the only one that's positive. Again, if you're reflecting, the where it's going to be identical to this number here is going to be in this quadrant right over there. Because all of them are positive here, that's where uh, cotan and tan would also be positive. So this is going to be positive. Now we typically don't like a root 3 on the bottom. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by root 3. So this one will be 3 root 3 over the square root of 9, which is 3. The 3s here cancel, so it would be a positive root 3. And the other place that you would find that is up in, <coughs> in that quadrant there. Okay, hopefully that helps you with a bit of the reflecting and finding function values.